And Philip, let's talk about the political fallout of the killing of Nahil. Um, the president convened an emergency government meeting this morning, but nonetheless, the government's coming under quite a bit of criticism. Coming under criticism not only from protesters and from uh, several sectors within France, but also from the opposition, political opposition. And Emmanuel Macron uh, has come out to say that uh, the actions of the policemen were wrong. That was picked up immediately by Marine Le Pen of the far right National Rally Party saying that the policeman, although he was in custody, has a right to uh, remain innocent until proven guilty. And it's not up to the president of France to say such things uh, before a trial has taken place. On the other hand, uh, on the far left, you have Jean-Luc Mélenchon, uh, the leader of the France Unbowed Party, who has uh, been very virulent in his criticism of the police, saying that the death penalty in France has been abolished and therefore it is inadmissible that uh, the police are able to kill uh, people in cars who don't stop for uh, at a police control point. Uh, so uh, a lot of uh, whipping up, I think, of a situation that is already very volatile in France. And there is a danger here, Nadia, and we've seen it before, is that an event like this can be uh, used for political recuperation. Some parties saying, OK, we've now got a, a way of uh, criticising the government, criticising Emmanuel Macron, criticising the police. Uh, it would all play favourably for us uh, in our support base for the next election. Uh, and Philip, I suppose one of the problem, one of the many problems for the government now is that this is clearly not a straightforward issue and there are many reasons why there's so much anger now. Yeah, and, and the, the problem facing the government is that they, they are face to face with a whole different series of reasons why this is blown up. OK, we had the killing of Mile, that has sparked all this off, but underneath there is a question of uh, the suburbs of Paris where people uh, live with greater unemployment, they find it hard to make ends meet, they feel uh, that they're discriminated against, uh, especially by the police, by the authorities. Uh, there is growing anger, they want uh, they want justice. Uh, th uh, you just need an event like this, a spark like this, to make it all boil over. Then the government has a problem of trying to put a lid on this to quell it. How do they do that? There's no one that they can talk to directly. And uh, all of these elements put together mean that we could be facing several days of protests uh, and the government is trying very hard to say, everybody, keep calm, stay at home. Uh, but I'm not sure a lot of them are listening right now because there's so much anger boiling underneath. Absolutely. Philip Tell, thank you very much indeed for that.